Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of the $10 Small Business website in 30 minutes, which is one of the In 30 Minutes series of books. You can see more information about it at $10smallbusinesswebsite.com. And today I'm going to be talking about how to use Blogger to set up your own domain. And when I say your own domain, I'm talking about your own .com domain, uh, which you can use as a signpost for your business, give information to your customers about what you're selling, the services you're providing, etc. And uh, to start, we're going to go to blogger.com. And I'm assuming that you've already built the site per the instructions in my book of just how to make a simple static website, but it doesn't have its own uh, dedicated .com domain. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you may have just have noticed that I typed in blogger.com. I'm brought to my blogger dashboard. These are all my blogs and sites. And I have one site called Main Street Treats. So let's click on that. And Main Street Treats is the example website from the book that I wrote. And you can take a look at it right here. It's just a fictional website that basically is advertising an ice cream shop in bakery. Uh, it's showing the different ice creams that are available. There's a product page, the treats that they sell, donuts and ice cream and things like that. Uh, but you may notice that at the very top of the site, when you go to it, the URL is not a .com, MainStreetTreats.com. It's MainStreetTreats.blogspot.com. And we want to get rid of the Blogspot part of it. Blogspot.com, that's the service that's owned by Google. And while it's very good just for getting something started, long term, if we're promoting our business, we actually want to have something that's our, that's, that is our own domain, such as MainStreetTreats.com. So let's do the transformation right now. So back in Blogger, on the left side of the page, there are the different things that you can change with your site. And what we want to do is we want to go to Settings. And right here, when it comes up, you'll notice that under Publishing, for Settings, for Basic, under Publishing, you'll see the blog address. It says Main Street Treats at blogspot.com. And that's what, we actually, that's what actually exists right now. We want to add a custom domain. Custom domain means it's our own .com domain with our own name. Could be the name of the business, could be something else. Uh, but it really is our own property on the web. And there's several reasons for getting that, uh, the least of which is it makes it better to promote your business. And also it's very good for showing up higher in Google search results. So let's add a custom domain. I'll walk you through the process. So uh, Google's blogger service is pretty smart. They know if you're going to use Main Street Treats at blogspot.com, you're probably going to be using that for your domain name. So that it offers this as the first option. You'll notice over here that there's also a drop down. So if you want to, you can choose .net or .org or .info or .biz. Stick with .com. Um, it's more well known to more customers. It's easier for people to remember. And it's probably the most important one in terms of uh, a top level domain in terms of promoting your business. So it lets you check the availability. Now what it's doing here is it's making sure nobody else already has that domain name. Because if somebody else does have that name, you can't take it. It's not available to you. So let's just check the availability. So it's checking up. So it says MainStreetTreats.com is already registered. Now, Blogger already Blogger gives you some other available items there. So there's MainStreetTreats.org. Uh, that kind of makes it sound like a nonprofit organization, which we don't want. And a bunch of other different variations on that, like MainRoadTreats.com. And that, that won't work because for this fictional business, the name of the company is actually Main Street Treats. So let's choose Find Another Domain Name. We're going to change a little bit. So let's do MainSTTreats.com. Continue. And it's available. One-year domain registration for $10.00. Uh, a couple other features there, but this is what we want. So we can get our own, we can make our website, the MainStreetTreats.com website, uh, visible at main, MainSTTreats.com. So let's continue to registration. So the way that this works is Google uh, provides the interface to register the domain through, a, through one of several popular domain registration services. In the United States, they use uh, GoDaddy.com as well as Enom. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to have to go through this form, fill out information, contact information, and you know, filling out a reliable uh, contact email address is very important because you only register the domain for one year at a time. 
And if for some reason it doesn't work out, you're going to, um, or, or if you're going to renew it later on, you want them to notify you that the, no the notification is coming up. Um, actually, this, this one is registering it through Enom, which is just like GoDaddy, but it's giving it to Enom instead. So you have to basically check off, yes, I've read that. You have to put in your contact information, your address. And then also, you, it's a good idea to check this off, automatically renew my registration every year if you know your business is going to be around in a year's time. If you're just doing like an experiment, just checking it out, seeing if people respond to it, well, maybe you don't need to check that off. But I advise checking off the automatically renew the registration. Um, and then there's this huge agreement. Um, these gigantic agreements, they're pretty standard, but you should just check it out, make sure that there's no uh, things that you object to in there because you're you're going to be bound to it. So uh, basically you fill out all those forms and then you say accept, proceed to Google Checkout. Google Checkout is kind of like PayPal. It lets you it lets you um, sign up. It lets you sign up and pay for services online. So that brings you to Google Wallet. It shows you the domain registration $10 MasterCard. And then if you're ready to place the order, just click that. Place order now. And I, I would own this. I would own the site, uh, Main, Main, MainStreetTreats.com, if I decided to pay for it. So basically, that's in a nutshell. That's how to register for your own domain using Google's Blogger service. Uh, my book, this ten dollars small business website in thirty minutes, explains many more details about how to uh, the processes involved with registering your own site and creating your own site, making it effective for your customers. Uh, go to the website URL, $10smallbusinesswebsite.com, to download the book or to see other videos and other helpful information about this topic. Because this really is one of the cheapest, most effective ways to get an online presence, and it can really pay dividends for your business down the road. Thanks. This is Ian Lamont, uh, author of the In 30 Minutes series and author of the $10 Small Business website in 30 minutes. See you soon.